202. 224 in the quarter? Yeah. Here we go. 230. Come on. Yeah. And yes. That's it right there. Pull, pull. Keep it pinned. Keep it pinned. Oh yeah. So we got the 510 racing record holding land speed S10. Oh yeah, nice sticker there. Um, got it back in the shop. Uh, this is built by F Bomb Garage. Uh, for the 510 racing team jack over there at the 510 racing team um and uh we do the tuning on it uh bu 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 bu. let's see here uh updates for this year it now has a thompson motorsports 363 it's actually uh de-stroked uh lsx so it's a 4.125 bore uh 3.4 stroke about 10 to 1 uh, 10 and a half to 1 compression uh, Frankenstein heads, um, uh, custom camshaft, a uh, dry sump, external cam trigger, Jessel belt drive. I mean, it, it really does have the works done to this motor. Um, it's still on uh, the previous VSR turbo setup, uh, that's the 88, I believe. Um, we're just wanting to shake down this motor, make sure it's kind of still lining up where it was before. Uh, we know this motor can handle a ton of power, and later on in the year, um, Lucas and Jack will be putting a uh, G57 frame turbo on here. I believe the either the 94 or 98. Um, I'll have to double check on that, and then we'll we'll hopefully be making four to 500 more horsepower than um, we'll be making now. So this is basically just shaking down the new motor. Um, checking over a few things um, first events really just gonna be like checking traction control making sure everything else is working right making sure we're not having any issues with the the new dry sump system and then there's a couple other little upgrades and stuff like that that they're gonna be testing out um, but yeah I'll be going over it uh, get it on the dyno here and I'll be doing some adjustments to it and uh, see how she shakes out with this motor. She should make a decent amount more power per pound of boost before I think I made eight, 850 or so, somewhere around there. I'll have to double check that. So that's kind of the, the goal. The goal today um, is, is just going through it, um, getting her, uh, running making sure nothing crazy is happening and uh, so we can get out on the salt and shake her down and got record here bum, bum, bum. took the overall record 240 um, knocked out the previous record by almost 41 miles an hour and uh, 240 was what he needed for his red hat so we got the red hat there very very cool um, so yeah, excited to see what it's going to do this year. And yeah, let's let's get to it.
Alright, so, few badass things about this truck that not many people know. Um, this truck actually weighs over 6,000 pounds. There's a lot of extra ballast added to this. Um, the reason for that is, on the salt flats, traction is an issue. And due to the class uh, restrictions, you're not able to put giant wing arrow and get as much traction as possible. It kind of has to be as heavy as possible. You get a lot of people that are like, well, uh, yeah, my car, I can do 180, 190 out in uh, Mexico on the highway. And, uh, well, yeah, the salt is not like the asphalt. So, yeah, we got a uh, 853 on 13 pounds. And I started reflecting the light a little bit. Um, it's fluctuating right here as we're trying to get uh, the boost control dialed in. And I think we're going to call it good for, uh, for this turbo setup. And uh, he can get out on the lake or on the lake bed and. Um, make some passes and we can check some things with uh, traction control and uh, then hopefully uh, they'll be putting a bigger turbo on here in a few I don't know, uh, maybe a month or so maybe a month two months and we'll make some big power with it